Hi everyone, welcome back to Sahab Academy. Today in the seventh video of this chapter, Issue of Debentures, we are going to cover a very simple and easy topic that is interest on debentures and tax deducted at source. We'll take this practical example, understand each and everything and then with these same figures, we are going to see the journal entries, okay? But before going ahead with this video, please make sure you have watched the previous videos, right? See here, let me just show you the chapter breakdown, what we have covered so far. See, we have covered issue of debentures for cash, right? Six different cases and then oversubscription also. Problems also, lots of them we have solved. And then we have, you know, understood collateral securities and then for consideration other than cash, isn't it? Yes. And now here we are on this topic, interest on debentures and TDS. And in the next video, we are going to cover writing of discount or loss on issue of debentures. Okay. All right. So now let's get back to this video and let's understand this topic, interest on debentures and TDS. Now see here we have the concept of interest on debentures and TDS. It's really simple and straightforward. Let's just say there was this company called as ABC Limited and this company wanted to raise finance from the people. So what it did was it went for issue of debentures and it issued 10,000 10% debentures of rupees 100 each. And these are the people who subscribe to these debentures and they became debenture holders of this company. Is that clear? Simple. Now, how much company did the company receive? Company received 10 lakhs, 10,000 debentures of rupees 100 each issued at 100 only, let's just say, and they received 10 lakh, right? Now, you all know this money has to be repaid back at premium or at par in future after 5 or 10 years. You all know that. That's maturity, right? But right now, yeah, just after 6 months or 1 year, what the company has to do, these debentures are what? It's same like a loan. So on these debenture, company has to pay interest. They have to service this debt. This 10 lakh which they have taken, this is debt. So they have to pay interest on it, which is called as, you know, servicing the debt. Okay, paying interest is called as servicing the debt. So they have to pay the interest. Now tell me how interest is paid and what is this interest? See, understand, interest is paid periodically. Yeah, year by year, they have to continuously, you know, pay the interest until and unless they repay back the loan. Isn't it? Yes. So how the interest will be calculated? Remember, interest will always be calculated on the face value. What is the rate of the interest? Rate of the interest is the name of the debenture. See, 10% debenture, they have said. So on these debentures, 10% interest will be paid. If there is 13% debenture, 13% is the interest rate. Is that clear? That's how it is. So now how it will be calculated? Understand, first you will take number of debenture, 10,000, and then you will multiply with the face value because you need total face value, okay? So total face value is 10 lakhs into 10%. That's the rate. So then we get to know 1 lakh is the total interest amount that should be paid to the debenture holders. Isn't it? Yes. Now. Will this be paid directly to the public? We'll come to that. Now understand this one lakh for the company is what? It is an expense because they are paying it. Yeah, they have paid it. Yeah, one lakh. That's their expense, finance cost. They have to debit it in their statement of profit and loss. Isn't it? As an expense. But for the debenture holders, for these individuals, lots of individuals are there over here. Yeah, lots of people who have subscribed to these debentures, right? So for them, it's their income yeah and you all know income is taxable yeah it's taxable we have to pay something of it to the government right so what the government says is that see they are saying this to the company see company i can't chase around so many different people so many different debenture holders you have right ten thousand or let's just say hundred or five hundred yeah so many people are there i can't chase around them what i advise you and what you must do is that you will have to pay the tax directly from this one lakh only yeah i will not go to the public yeah income tax authorities are saying this yeah i will not go to the public to the separate individual and ask for tax on the interest income which they have earned on these debentures no i will not do that 
what i will do is i will come to you see company you are giving this 1 lakh to these people it's their income right so on this income you pay me tax right here right now itself tds tax deducted at source yeah that's what the government is saying so now understand what will happen this 1 lakh is an expense for the company and for debenture holder is an income yes but understand this whole amount of interest will not be paid to the debenture holders instead what will be happening is from this 1 lakh tax will be deducted okay see here interest 1 lakh minus tds let's just say it's 10% okay it can keep on changing and all so you will study more about this thing tds the rates and everything in intermediate right when you will study the taxation subject but right now right now you just have to understand the concept see here 1 lakh minus tds 10% which is 10000 that's equal to 90000 is that clear so this 90000 will be paid to the debenture holders as their income is it clear yeah and it's after tax income and this tds will be you know given to the government by the company if you understand this what happened over here the source of this income of this 1 lakh yeah is the company because company is paying it so on that payment directly over here only tax is deducted this is called as tax deducted at source is that clear so this is the entire concept now understand see here interest is always calculated on the face value of debentures yes i told you that it is paid periodically yes it is paid periodically it can be paid quarterly half yearly and annually okay here we have assume the interest will be paid annually but if it is paid half yearly then you have to take over here you know into 6 by 12 if it is paid uh, quarterly then into 3 by 12 because 3 months isn't it like that fine so that's what the thing is and then see here it is a charge against the profits of a company now see it is obligatory that company has to pay the interest yeah they have to pay the interest it's not like if there are no profits in this year they will not pay interest no here you are not paying dividend these are not shares here you must pay the interest company must pay the interest it is a charge against the profits of a company it doesn't matter whether profits are there or not is that clear and see here it is shown as finance cost yes from the company's point of view it's an expense so it's known as finance cost and it is debited to statement of profit and loss yeah that's what we do with all the expenses and then see here interest is paid after deducting the tds tax deducted at source yes that's what i said over here the company will deposit the tax deducted with the income tax authorities now let's understand the general entries it's really simple see here first what will happen okay let's understand the general entries with these figures only first what will happen first the company will accept that we have to pay 1 lakh interest to the debenture holders okay so see the first entry will be for making interest due they are accepting that we have to pay the interest right so interest on debenture account debit it's an expense for the company they are debiting it 1 lakh they are recording an expense to whom this is payable this is payable to the debenture holders right to debenture holder account 1 lakh okay debenture holders account is it clear 1 lakh fine easy yeah this is the amount and then what will happen and then the government will come in the between right they will come in between payment to debenture holder and recording tds payable government will say no 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 you can't pay 1 lakh yeah company you have to deduct tds okay and the rate will be given to you in the question don't worry okay you don't have to do anything about the rate it will be given to you so debenture holder account debit this liability which you credited over here you recorded we have to pay now you are paying it so you'll have to cancel that liability debenture holder account debit 1 lakh right and you will make payment to the uh, debenture holders how much you paid them 90000 right so bank account credit 90000 to bank account 90000 is it clear debenture holder story is finished now we have to record the tds payable we have to accept that to the government we have to pay 10000 from this 1 lakh so we have to record that liability how do we record a liability you all know we credit to tds payable account 10000 is it clear simple and straightforward and then what you have to do is you have to make the payment to the government payment of tax deducted at source tds payment that is 
this liability which you recorded you will have to cancel that liability how do you cancel a liability here it was credited to cancel it we have to make an equal debit simple tds payable account debit 10000 and then we'll credit the bank account 10000 is it clear tds payment is done then the last account that is open is this interest on debenture account yeah this is an expense account i told you what happens of this uh, you know interest it is shown as finance cost and debited to statement of profit and loss so we have to do that yeah we have to close that expense account it's a nominal account transfer of interest to pnl it's also called writing of statement of pnl account debit 1 lakh to interest on debenture 1 lakh so from the company's point of view they have incurred an expense of 1 lakh but the debenture holders they have received actually only 90000 the difference is the tax which has been paid to the government is it clear simple and straightforward this is the entire concept with the journal entries and the practical example that we have taken over here i hope you have understood this okay it was really simple and straightforward so that's all for this video see you in the next video bye